Hello all, welcome back to Finishing Permadeath. Sirius Lee is here. We're still on Beach House Base, but today, hopefully, we are finishing Beach House Base. I am pretty much done decorating. We're going to do a little bit more today. One more room to do. Just this tiny hut. The first one we built is the last one to do. As you can see, we've got lots of stuff put in. Oh, there's some stuff to clean up as well. Let's get into it right away. We're going to do some building first, and then maybe we'll do a tour after. Uh, build camera. It is dawn-ish. <laughs> the sun is rising. It's the first thing in the morning here. So we should have some good daylight for this. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of pillows. No, these are cement bags or whatever they're called in-game. I've been using them as pillows. This is my color palette because you can't natively give these color. But with the universal adjacency glitch, you can. In fact, you can give them three colors that don't exist anywhere else. This white and black comes from the default alloy pieces. Uh, this perfectly tan one here, which has no color differentiation like the others do, is from the default uh, new wooden pieces, not these pieces here, th those pieces there. <laughs> and this one here is from the default stone pieces, uh, the new stone pieces. They are called stone, right? Stone structures, yes. Alloy structures, timber structures. Okay, so not wood or whatever. Yeah, wood is here, concrete's there, metal is there. If you have the legacy structures. Not all saves do, not all of my saves do. All right, so uh, let's get back into <clears throat> just fresh build camera. I can delete these now. I don't need any more. We have to put one more bed in, but I think I'm just going to put a regular bed bed and... I'm not going to go to the trouble of glitching these in at the right height so that they merge well with the bed. The unfortunate thing with these is, <clears throat> we can show you right here real quick, is if I copy one of these, let's just say this one here, and I were to put it um, on this hammock, it floats quite a bit, and I can't get it any lower than that, and it floats on almost everything, even the ground, sort of. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're not gonna <clears throat> we're not gonna go with those kind of pillows. So let's delete that. Good, the hammock stayed. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we got to do this room here. All the outsides are done. We got some decorations going on all of the buildings. Some nice uh, <clears throat> potted plants over here. Got a rock garden on this one. Uh, I'm thinking. Actually, we should change the color on this one. That bright red looks great, but <clears throat> I think this orange goes well with the uh, actual rock garden in the middle there. So let's put that in. Uh, was it this one? Yes, it was. Yeah. There we go. One thing fixed. <laughs> let's get inside. <clears throat> one thing I have done is I've got these floor panels shrunk in for the ladder. So there's like a hatch. And I put one in on the inside as well, so that you can see it on the inside. Although you can't see anything in here because we don't have a light. So the first things first, let's add some light to that room. Uh, top of this one, top of that one. What kind of light? I sort of like these circle ones. Let's try that. And we can shrink this thing down a bit as well. And if we just go to wire mode, we can get a sort of centered look here. Or we could just uh, hit this camera here, but we don't get to see that little point, uh, the delete camera. I think that's centered enough. We're going to try that. Should we shrink it? Mm, maybe a bit. Oh, that's grow. <laughs> there we go. Something like that. <clears throat> what do we get from the outside? How low is that? Mm, it's a little teeny bit big still. Okay, now I'm going to go to this. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to try to get centered again. Pick that. Go to wire mode. There we go. Right in the center. And we'll shrink it even more this time. Something like that, maybe. Maybe. 
still gives it pretty much the same amount of light. So I'm happy with that. We don't want it to be ridiculously bright in there anyway. We're going to have a bed for these people. Whoever's renting this room out. And which side do we want the bed on? Perhaps over here, because <clears throat> if I go to this one, there we go. Get a nice view of planets while you're sleeping. If your head is laying on this corner here, right? Look at those behind the clouds over there. If there weren't clouds, <laughs> and on that side, maybe we'll put a couch. Okay, so let's get into that. Bed will be on the interior decoration furnishings. Uh, I'm just calling this interior. It's called furnishings, right? And this one's called decoration, but I'm calling it interior and exterior because, well, these are all lights, but all of this stuff here is construction parts. All of these seem to want to go outside. Most of them, generators, pumps, that sort of thing. Water tower usually does not go inside. Uh, but the game's demarcation is furnishings and decorations. So furnishings, bed... Fortunately, we don't need anything like star silk for this bed. I don't know if we're ever going to use any of the regular chairs ever again because they all need star silk and the new ones don't. Okay, let's see. Uh, the default size works for me, but I would like to get this maybe wedged in there. Oh, obviously the right angle too. Merged a little bit with the wall, touching the back but not sticking out the back side of the wall, hopefully. We'll see if we can get it to do that. Something like that. Now, let's go take a peek out the back. Good, that's not sticking through the wall at all. That's perfect. Now we can do things like the coloring. Uh, that's some pretty beige color, light white sheets with a gold frame. That's okay, but let's see what else we can do. Uh, these are the base colors. Let's see how that looks. Mm. Yeah, you know what? It goes with the ceiling. We got the gray and red square tile in the middle. We'll do gray and red in here again. Let's put that couch in now. Uh, swept sofa, I like a lot better than the sofa, but let's just take a peek at the sofa because I haven't put one in here in this uh, build yet, so maybe we'll do one in here, just for variety's sake, you know. That looks pretty straight and pretty much up against the back wall. Okay, let's do that. Now we could use... <clears throat> A couple of things here. I'm thinking, let's try something. Back out of this, go to wood. Uh, this here, can I put that in? Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. It blocks the window a teeny, teeny bit, but it's pretty much level. The same amount of window and it gives us a wood grain on the inside. Can I do it on this wall? Hmm, it's not letting me. Let's see if I can do it with the short ones. No, I can't for some reason. Oh, I, I can, but they're not sticking through. Oh, that's interesting. What if I rotate them around? No. Nope. Hmm. I bet these ones stick through a bit. Can't seem to get it to merge in there, though. That's interesting. Why did it work on... Yeah, see, it works on this one. Oh, that's neat. Blocks the window a little bit more than I would like on that side, though. What if I... Can I get it in lower? No? Hmm. That's neat. That's interesting. Something to think about. Oh, that one goes in lower. Huh. It's a little bit more wood grain, and you know what? It gives the, uh, the bed something to not have stuff fall behind you know you don't want your pen falling behind the bed crack there so yeah sure uh oh i do wish we were not on the red gray color i wish it was more wood grain is this gray over here okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna delete those then uh delete and 
delete. Not the bed. Oh, we might have to delete the bed. Looks like we gotta delete the bed. <laughs> Let's put that bed back in while it's on those colors. Okay, actually, while the bed's out, let's see if we can put the, no, let's back all the way out of build camera. Let's go back into build camera. Now, if we build those wood things, they should, in theory, be the proper default color. Just put one right there. Yeah, that's wood grain. Okay, build camera. Delete, let's get back in there. Let's put that wall back in with a wood grain color this time. And can we merge it in without the bed there? No, it was not the bed that was blocking the way. It's just that this wall doesn't show it as well as the windowed wall does. Oh, hey, I can put it in. Yeah, no, <coughs> we knew that already. <laughs> Let's put in uh, these ones. We can put them in after. Let's put the bed in. No, just in case they take the color and I won't be able to get it back. Let's put these in first. There we go. The bed merges fairly nicely with stuff like that, so we should be able to get it back in there. No problem. Bed, and we'll pick the color before we place it. Okay, now getting it back in there at the proper distance again is going to be the challenge. So we've got to come out a lot more. We're going to need more room to view here. Let's do it at a better angle. Something like that. That's pretty good. It might be sticking out the back of the wall a bit. No, I think that's pretty good. We're going to go take a peek. Nothing. Perfect. Okay, good. We got the bed back in. We got wood grain paneling in. Excellent stuff. Now, let's do something about this back wall. I think we could do some posters. <clears throat> We've been putting in Atlas base posters here at this base because the others are pretty denominational, like Gek and Corvax, and even this one over here is a Viking one, the Keen poster. Uh, this is a Gek hypnosis poster, but I feel like that's pretty generic. We could do that. Hmm. Paw prints. <laughs> I have not used that one yet. That's pretty cute. We'll do that. Just to spruce up the place a bit, divide up that big blank wall. You know what I mean? Uh, above the bed, right in the middle. Let's put it above the bed and let's put like a shelf or something there in the middle of the room. <clears throat> Back to interior stuff. Sorry, furnishings. <laughs> Drawers, we're gonna need some drawers. You get everyone has to store some stuff when they're on vacation, right? Mm. Or would that be better over here by the door? Yeah, we need something on this wall as well. That's where this will go. We'll find something else for the back wall. Let's get that against the back wall. Yeah, there we go. Straight, not pretty straight, and bigger. Place it, and then we'll change the color if we need to. It's already on those. Let's see what we can do, though. Oh, yeah, red drawers. That looks nice. I think I'm doing that in one of the other rooms as well. Uh, let's put something on top of there. Can't just have a drawer end like that. It, nothing on top. Let's see. What can we do? We could put a potted plant. We could do... We could try to shrink an aquarium, but I don't think it's going to get small enough. And I've already got one aquarium in here. You know, I haven't tried it. We could try that. Do we want to try shrinking something? Yeah, let's try. Let's do it. Uh, okay, back out of this. 
Let's go in the build camera, but out here. We're gonna shrink it out here. I'm gonna put a floor tile there-ish. Oh, that's a small one. Okay, so we need to get to something that will shrink. Say that, we're gonna make it as small as is possible. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go to the aquarium and we are going to uh, try to put it into the cache. No, nope, that was wire mode. There we go. We're gonna copy the heater and we're gonna see how big it gets. We're just gonna place it out here on this thing because I don't want it to be too big and then we'll delete it in the room, so. That is very cute and tiny. Is that a good enough size? Let's try. Um, this and copy piece. No, it's a little bit big. That's what I thought. Uh, it's still sort of room sized, if you know what I mean, like interior sized, maybe. That's what can be our centerpiece here. And we'll put it on top of uh, something there, right? I think that's a pretty good idea. Okay, we'll back out of that. Let's find something to put it on top of. Uh, a bubble vat, maybe. That's an idea. It's really big. <laughs> Uh, shrink. Uh, let's go out to the shrunk down thing over here and we'll get a size comparison, right? That's pretty much the size I want it to be, but that's really tall. Hmm. In fact, it's already a bit too small. Hmm. Yeah, it's good for the base, but the, the top gets smaller of the bubble vat. Okay, let's not use a bubble vat then. What else we got in here? There's lots of these things. We could put it on something like that. Oil burner. It's too small, but if we make it bigger, how tall does it get? Um... It's a big enough size to hold it, I think. And it's about the same height as it is already. So let's put one down here. Let's see what happens when we try to copy that piece over. This is the kind of experimenting I've been doing. That is not too bad, right? Not too bad. Height-wise, that's okay. I think we're gonna go with that. Now, something we could also do is, I wish we had better daylight here. Is it already sunset? It's already sunset. We could try to give this fish tank a texture and a color, but it looks like we already have. Is it gold? Because this piece here that we copied it off of, uh, if we put this back into the queue, there we go. This can be colored and textured. So uh, we have to do that first. So let's back out of this. <laughs> uh, this piece, let's copy, or let's change this stuff on here. So let's see, we want, these are the base colors. We could go with those and maybe, maybe let's see what happens if we just do that first just the colors okay so we've changed the color of that piece right yes okay so now we're going to copy this we're going to put it in the cache we're going to copy that and then we're going to place it like this um is there a color difference there doesn't appear to be all right 
Let's find, oh yeah, there is. Look at that rim uh, up top of there is white and here is gray. We don't get any of the color, but we're definitely gonna work with that gray one. I prefer that a lot. All right, so delete. Delete. We've got a small one out here we can copy. We're gonna copy this one so we get the size. Uh, and are we happy with the color of that? The I don't know that we can color this piece anyway. Let's just copy it. I'm happy with the color of that. We haven't done a tour yet. <laughs> Okay, how tall is this going to be? That's perfect, actually. I don't want it going all the way to the ceiling, right? Get that facing pretty much centered. Close enough. Now let's go get our fish tank. Oh, oh, oh. come on, game. I know it's a pretty big base, lots of parts, but don't lag out on me. Um, hard to tell if it's centered from here. Let me try to get above. Looks good to me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's not perfectly centered, or is it? Uh, hey, you know what? That is not bad, actually. Pretty much centered with the light and the door frame. That's great. Okay, this room, like I said, we could put something up here. All right, let's try to quickly just do, uh, maybe not a potted plant, let's do like a, um, one that what didn't get watered. <laughs> I have an idea for that. Uh, here we go, put one of these up here. Plants. I have not put these to use anywhere yet, so yeah, I want to give that a try. A wizened stump. How small can we make this thing? First of all, that's important to know, because that might be way too big for me to put in here. Oh yeah, that's way too big. Nuts. Okay, well we can't use that. What else can we put in there? Hmm. I have used a mushroom tree in one of them, but I haven't put anything unique. Can we get this really teeny? I don't think we can get this small enough either. No, that's huge. Okay, uh, the writhing bush probably gets small enough. We can try that. It's gonna be pretty creepy though. Oh, that's as small as it gets, huh? We might need a bigger pot. <laughs> And another thing about this is, yeah, they, they climb, they sink into the pot. So if you want to put them coming out of the top, you have to put something in there first or glitch them up taller. That's a bit too big still. Uh, hmm. These are all going to be very big items. There we go. Cactus. We can shrink that down pretty small. But is it going to sink down into the pot too much? Let's see. Yeah, see, look at that. That's way down into the pot. So what I've been doing uh, is using the orange pustule and shrinking that down all the way. And then it barely sticks at the top like that. And then you can place something on top of the orange pustule, like, say, uh, the thing that you want to plant. Celebratory cactus. Shrink that down. Oh, it doesn't let you place this item on top of those, eh? Well, it does, but it's way too tall up. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's try something else then. Say, a dwarf a palm. Could do a saucer fungus. I haven't done one of them. Also not sure, no, they're gonna, it's gonna float a bit. <sighs> that's gonna be huge, that's not a good fit. You know what, maybe we will just use nothing in there. Ooh, that might get small enough, maybe. Nope, not even close. <laughs> Uh, this will, for sure, though. Uh, 
Orange pustule might be too tall though. Maybe we need to put something else in there. Nothing sticking into the wall back there. Okay, that's good enough for me then. Let's pick the color. Let's make this one actually green. There we go. All right, we are done decorating. <clears throat> Let's take a peek around. Uh, you know what we're not done doing? Let's clean some stuff up before we save. Uh, this mode, build camera. Let's get rid of our pillows. This is what I was using to make them different colors. Get rid of that. Same deal goes with these blankets or carpets, whatever you want to call them. Um, to color those, you also need to glitch the color in. Look at all this carbon I'm getting back. It's great. Okay. So, under these tents, what I've put in is a couple of corner couches and a nice uh, fireplace in the middle to heat yourself by at night. Got those rows of trees put in, all nicely glitched down into the middle where I want them. As I was showing before, we have uh, a unique sort of thing outside each of the houses, plants or whatever. A little bit of a bar over on this one. There is a, a composter hammock. Each of the buildings has their own little composter. You know what? I don't know that we finished this building, did I? Oh yeah, I put some stuff in here. Okay, we got posters. We've got, uh, oh, I shouldn't be in this mode. You know what? Let's go into first bird. Nah, you know what? It is faster to explore in that mode. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go upstairs first. This one has a very tiny bedroom. Just regular bed. We got a cup by the uh, and a flask by the bed. A couple of blankets up top of the uh, shelving. Stairs down, carpets to wipe your feet on the way in upstairs. Got a nice sitting area up here to read by, by the window. Uh, I don't know what these stands are. They're just stuff to take up space, to be honest. <laughs> nice balcony with some more seats if you want to sit outside and read and stuff. Look at that beautiful sunrise. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost sunrise. We have a pretty good day here. Uh, the night is fairly short. We're not at an endless sunrise spot, but we're pretty close. So we get a lot of sun time here. And we got some posters on the wall. We didn't show off the... Oh, hey, those are floating. Mm. Well, from a uh, third person angle, they look like they're sitting on the shelf. <laughs> uh, I forgot how short I am. Okay, cut me some slack. Oh yeah, let's go show off the inside of the big room. Uh, let's go in here. This is the place with the unique bed, the one that I hand built. It's raised up off the floor a bit. We have a heater in here. Can I turn that on? Yeah, boom. Heat your feetsies. We can have two people sleeping from opposite sides. Some stuff on the uh, stands there little bookshelf we can't put anything on and we don't even have books anyway so <laughs> did the same thing over here with the ladder as the other place we've got a latched thing and one on the roof as well it's another uh, sitting place lots of pillows and blankets and a hookah <laughs> go take a look at the big room the big place over here We're going to go a bit over time today as we explore this place. Nice seating area in here, looking out over the sunrise. Some shelves. And a master bedroom with a double wide bed. Some nice shelving. Oh, hey, look, a golden gex statue. Can't have not have a golden gex statue in your build. There's the mushrooms. All right, let's head back out of here. We can go off the balcony. We got some seating for two up here. A honeymoon suite. <laughs> All right, I hear you, timer. I hear you. We're done. We're done. 
<laughs> Let's go inside though. We have terrariums in here, right? One on each side, even though you're only allowed one per base. I glitched it in. You know what? I haven't saved any things we've changed today. Let's uh, save and pick this up because that's not part of the base. We're going to go upload at the end as well. The kitchen we've seen, we've made a couple changes. I got a stove in here now. I think that looks a lot better than the oil brazier that we could spill all over the place. That's just the furnace piece merged well into the cabinet there. Our boiling water is still there, but we get like a little, can't really see it from this angle, but there's like a boiling water gauge in there. We have a menu up top, <laughs> a barcode to scan, because the, the chef has to be certified, right? Uh, lighting looks good. Here's the the main entrance. This is where you would come in from behind the portal. Right, let's come in like that. We have the Atlas statue, Atlas poster with the Atlas decal on it. <laughs> A couple of seating places, some nice intimate seating if you want to eat by the kitchen. And if we, as we go upstairs, we have the entertainment area. We've got the giant fish tank. Right, full size, going all the way to the ceiling. Globe and the lookout area, all the glass floors. What a beautiful view. This planet is great. Uh, we got a control thing here to adjust our holograms. We've got a hologram of the star system that you pick, and maybe a planetary, of, and then a creature from that planet. You know, different holograms, different. Uh, channel feeds you know you can't get away from everything when you're on vacation you got to have uh, some access to you know technology this isn't camping this is this is a resort right and the last thing we want to go check out is downstairs you can probably see it from here actually we've put some tents out on the beach as well let's just hop down i to be a little bit careful because I don't normally use first person mode to explore, so I don't know how to time jetpacks and stuff. Oh yeah, we got some campfire down here as well. Let's go check that out. I have hidden our power generation behind some fire. <laughs> I think this looks a lot better than just a power generator over here. Got some couches. Oh, the terrain has regrown over this one. That's fine. That's fine. It's just a little bit mossy in this corner. <laughs> We have some really cool skulls up there that are being scanned by a sentinel at the moment, apparently. <laughs> All right, last things last, let's head down to the beach, sit on a blanket, play with a wheelbarrow. Oh, here's a bucket of sand, a couple of shovels for you. It was a ridiculous amount of work to get a shovel to lie down flat. Preposterous. Just. It took about 20 minutes to get that to line up. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think we can say that Beach House Base is finished. Uh, I might, you know, come back and add some more stuff. I think, as I was saying last time, there is still a huge amount to add to the back side of the mountain over there. How much jetpack do I have? Just enough, I think up here but just for now i think we're just going to leave these on the ridge they look great from the base uh you know you need some antennas for all that technology we showed off earlier and there might be a little bit of house here for now it's just a deck overlooking this way we're gonna put some seats at least <laughs> all right that's it that's beach house base finished for finishing permadeath until next time everybody have a good time